Although it's been a few decades since my burning passion for Pokemon subsided, I thought it would be interesting to revisit the first movie considering I haven't seen it since its opening box office night. Also, because this is a supporter request, a big thanks to Mr. JChip for supporting the channel. If you'd like to request a movie, short OVA, hang out with us, or just support the channel, check out the Join button or head on over to the Patreon linked in the description below. I'll save the typical nostalgia stroll for another day. My first first time seeing this movie, I didn't even know what anime was, and today is only my second time after completing nearly a thousand anime. So how does the original Pokemon movie hold up? Let's find out. My initial impressions were how beautifully its visuals have been remastered. My favorite anime aesthetic is when cell animations are properly remastered. There's just something special about the colors and backgrounds. The first quarter is especially breathtaking considering the contrast in colors and the nature environments, attention to detail, and the slight parallax which adds dimension and brings everything to life. Unfortunately, the entire movie didn't take place outside. Although the mansion backdrops were nicely painted, there's just no content against the jungles and ancient ruins from the first quarter. In fact, if you haven't seen this movie in HD, I urge you to go back and watch at least the first quarter. In addition to its visuals being better than I remember, I also forgot how heavy its themes were. This was definitely a kid's movie, but it features the ethics of cloning for experimentation, making animals fight for our amusement, how superficial our perception of evil is, and even martyrdom. The original Japanese version had an anti-war message, which was changed to an anti-racism message with its English dub. While this may sound unusual nowadays, it's actually par for the course. Before cartoons became toy commercials, they were vehicles for instilling positive morals in children, especially with anime. In fact, if you've ever seen anime from the 1930s or 40s, that's basically all it was. Considering I no longer have the moral blank slate of an impressionable child, I can't speak on the efficacy of its message. However, as an adult, I can say some of it felt a little corny, especially with its English dub. The original translation was subtle and poetic. For example, they talked about how we all look up at the same moon, while some of its messages felt blatant in the English dub. The overall plot was also a mixed bag. The movie began introducing us to the intrigue of ancient Pokemon and archaeologists searching in ruins. Maybe it's just a subjective thing, but I enjoy these moments as an adult just as much as I did in theaters way back when. However, the tone quickly shifts away from wonders of the unknown and the beauty of nature to ominous laboratories conducting Pokemon cloning and creating Mewtwo. These scenes created an unshakable sense of foreboding as the tremendously powerful experiment begins breaking loose and demolishing everything in sight. Also, did anyone else get the feeling that the Star Wars Episode 3 Darth Vader scene took inspiration from the scenes with Giovanni and Mewtwo? Think about it, a devious tyrant manipulating the impressionable and powerful youth struggling with existentialism, placing him inside of a suit of armor rendering him subservient. Of course, I know the Vader-Palpatine dynamic was foretold in the original Star Wars trilogy, still, the way it played out in prequel movie 3 really reminded me of this Pokemon scene. This tonal shift is likely enjoyable for children and adults alike because it heightens the mood and raises the stakes. I previously said the plot was a mixed bag for me due to its second half. The movie's first half was so enjoyable because it was dynamic, from ancient ruins to laboratory to our hero struggling to reach a mysterious island during a storm. The second half was much more static as it takes place all within the same building and focuses on the same plot point, defeating Mewtwo. It wasn't long before it felt stagnant and claustrophobic when contrasting it to the movie's first half. Kids may not notice it because they're enthralled by the moment, but as an adult, I could only see how bland the scenery had become and how the plot slowed to a crawl. Furthermore, I felt the movie had a weak ending that undermines their intentions. Considering it's such a morally dense movie, ending on a note which prevents our heroes from actually learning anything seems counterintuitive. Though it was likely for the sake of plot continuity with the TV series, I couldn't help but feel underwhelmed by its conclusion, especially after my complaints regarding its second half. Overall, I give Pokemon the first movie an 8 out of 10. It's an enjoyable watch and probably you'd enjoy it more if you have kids to share it with, but its second half leaves a bit to be desired in my opinion. I recommend watching in Japanese or at least watching in English with the original translation subtitle so that you can spot its differences. What were your thoughts on the first Pokemon movie? Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and share with a friend if you'd like. Thanks to all of my supporters on Patreon and through YouTube channel memberships for making these videos possible and a special thanks to Niachan for going there tier. I couldn't do it without you all. I'll see you tomorrow with another anime review.